Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how I modify my system UI to push new icons that I created. Uh, remember you have to be, your phone has to be rooted and this is only for a touch with ROM. Uh, AOKP, AOSP ROMs might have different names and it might work for you if you check to see if the images are the correct size and um, the correct name now uh, you're gonna need two applications from the apps app store uh, you're gonna need file explorer and you're gonna need power rasp uh, you're gonna need also uh, the root add-on for the file explorer I'm gonna include uh, links at the bottom and I will also include the download link of the icons I created. So uh, let's begin. Okay, after you install the the two apps from the Play Store and download the zip file with the new icons, all you have to do is go into File Explorer, uh, go into your download folder if that's where you placed the downloaded zip file and just extract it here you do that by uh, long pressing the zip file and you open with and you just choose archive extractor and select extract here and the place your new folder here like I have it uh, once you do that you see you have uh, the new icons extracted and now we need to go back and find our system UI and I'm going to show you how I how I do that okay uh, just go and select system root uh, select OK when you get this uh, pop-up window uh, scroll down to find your system folder and select it. Uh, select the app folder, the one on the left corner, top corner. Once here, you have to scroll down. Scroll down till you find your system UI APK. And you do that by swiping from left to right on of the icon. Now at the bottom you select copy. Go back to your download folder and here you get a uh, paste the system UI. It's a good idea to do an Android backup and maybe also do a titanium backup and you could also uh, make another copy of this and paste it on older just so you have an original just in case you want to go back and using your stock icons and remember this is for a 4.3 touch with ROM so now let's uh we're gonna have to open assisting UI and find a folder inside Okay, so let's look now for the folder that we need that's inside of the system UI. And we're going to do that by uh, pressing system UI. You see the pop-up menu, just select open with. And when you see the other pop-up menu, select power grasp. Okay, you're inside your system UI APK folder now and we select RES folder and we need that drawable XHDPI folder and we are gonna select it by long pressing it and when you see the pop-up me menu just click OK uh, copy sorry about that click copy uh, go back by selecting the up button in the top left corner uh, select it again and now click paste uh, now you can exit power rest by pressing the home button 
go back inside file explorer and you can see you have the new folder there the drawable XHEPI folder and it's ready to be modified okay uh, now we need to uh, place the new icons inside that folder so we're gonna select all of them or at least in my case I'm gonna select all of them in your case you just you might want to select the ones you like to get uh, the buttons you, that you want to see on your system I'm gonna select all of them they're all uh, PNG images now we select copy we have 50 PNG images on our clipboard so we click back and now we go inside the drawable dash XHDPI folder once here just click on the clipboard uh, select paste from the menu and now select overwrite and merge now you have uh, the new icons inside that folder and then now the folder is ready to be placed back inside the system UI I'm going to show you how to do that okay so uh, now we're ready to place that new drawable folder inside the system UI and to open system UI again remember long press system UI to get the menu to get the pop-up menu got the pop-up menu select open with and go to power grasp now once here we have to search for that new modified uh, drawable folder so we click on the up button we see the new folder here we long press it long press it to select this menu select copy now to get back inside the system UI you have to long press the system UI APK once you get this menu select archive operations on this other menu select open now you're back inside the system UI now select the REF folder uh, select the the old drawable XHDPI folder long press on it to get this menu and you want to delete that folder now you have deleted that folder now we're ready to paste the new and modify folder so we do that by clicking paste once you get the compression level I've been using level 6 and it's been working for me so far after you select the 6 just click on OK now you have the new folder inside the system UI now just go out and uh, select the home button now go back inside file explorer okay so now we are gonna place uh, the system UI the modify system UI back into the system so we gonna do that by selecting it uh, we're gonna wipe from left to right to select it now we click the copy button now we go back go back we select a uh, system root to go back inside your system click on OK when you get this uh, pop-up menu scroll down to find your system folder once you see your system folder uh, select it now uh, select your top left corner 
which is the app app folder now once here you uh, select the little lock on top to unmount your system you need to check mark where it says I understand the risk you click OK and now you press on the clipboard to paste the modified system UI you click on uh, once you get to this pop-up menu you select paste and select overwrite and merge once you do that and it gives you a message that uh, everything was uh, pasted select the little lock again to mount your system and just go back and your phone should reboot by itself it, if it doesn't reboot by itself just remove the battery and and boot again okay so now that uh once you reboot your phone you're gonna see that uh the new icons and the, the new uh toggles up here and you just select whichever one you like you see the top buttons on top too they're modified also Hit the thumbs up if you really like this video. Thanks.